Well, there it is. Hello, welcome to a strategy game. Here I am playing as undead, and I'm going to have to look for an undead strategy. <laughs> because I actually was supposed to do a human strategy this game. Perhaps that can be the next one. But, uh,. Yeah, I was all set out to do human strategy, but I forgot to pick my race. Yes. So let's just do an undead build order in this undead strategy game for fiends and then adapt it as I look around and try to find that which can guide me. So let's pull yes. you. Wait, 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 wait. We, well, we, one, two, three. Well, you don't actually have to be like that. You can just be like that. But I don't know. That's kind of what the Blade Master thing Because maybe a Blade Master can fit in. And I'm going to be all paranoid and annoyed later on when the Blade Master starts attacking my aircraft. Yeah. So I'm not going to be too happy about that. So let's hope that doesn't happen. I can't put a freaking cigarette there anyway. So I just ruined everything. <laughs> Screw it. Okay. Right. Time to look for a strategy. So bear with me. I'll just give you a quick glimpse as to what my allies are. Human, Night Elf. Undead. Alrighty. So we've got a little bit of time. Okay. Oh, I quite like this one. It's very simple. So it'll do the trick for me. And it doesn't hurt too much with the build I've gone. So the fiends will be used to just propel me in experience, I would say. Although I do prefer ghouls with my Dreadlord. It will be a Dreadlord game. But the key here is really not so much an expansion or anything like that. Although expansions are always welcome. It's mostly just to propel him in experience. I'll tell you what it is in a second. So we've got that going. We get a fiend. Then I've got to get a cigarette as well. So I'll go get that. Just to make sure everything's done. So yep. Oh, no, someone's out. All right. Um, Jawasha Flank says, here's a strat for you. Will you go Dreadlord first? Okay. We can do this in the next game then. Dreadlord first. Buy the star for teleportation. Get a cloak of shadows. Put the shade in an enemy base. TP in with harass with Dreadlord. And when they respond, just use hide from cloak of shadows. Get whatever units you like. Well, the Cloak of Shadows is very much substantially uh, situational, but we shall see. I guess they've got an AFK, guys, so I'm just going to leave this game and move on to another one because it's pointless me staying in this, so stay tuned for the next game. There's a lot of undead in this game. Deadlock, here we go. Snacky Dready. I had to change the things because I lost a couple of games. <laughs> so, you know, I want to get a fresh start. Let's get the Dreadlord out ASAP. Let's go... So, uh, I mean... I don't regret going Fiends last time. But I guess I'll go Ghouls because it means I can tech quicker. But Fiends are better. Unless you get enough Ghouls that you can creep without, you know, losing any of them. Strength in numbers, that sort of thing. I feel like Gargoyles would be a much better play of style now that I've had a moment to think about it instead of doing it off the fly. So I will really need the graveyard anyway for gargoyles but technically gargoyles would be the better approach. Uh, Blade Master should not be able to get through there despite it looking like he can. So yeah, um, Dreadlord to begin with. Ghouls to just Chop the wood, get the uh, tech going. Wait for the cigarette, really. And then into gargoyles. So you go for a graveyard and then a second crypt, typically. But you can do that anyway, even without an expansion. But it depends on how many ghouls you've gone crazy with earlier. So remember, I want to be able to creep reliably. I don't want to run out of things to creep. This map is good for creeping, though. So there's a lot of little things you can creep without needing a big army, but if I was to go for the whole pushing the Dreadlord agenda, I might really want to um, go for an expansion. So let's get a second cigarette. Not there. Here. So I can definitely block. And we'll look into getting an ex expansion. I don't know where, whether this guy plans for an expansion, but this is basically the one that we would contest over. The one up here really is for pink. 
you know, he's got his own kind of expansion up there. I could go up there, but it's you can kind of tell some expansions are sort of set for one player in particular. So, yeah, that's blocked. Dreadlord will be out very shortly, so let's take a couple of ghouls to do some light creeping for now. He won't need much more than that, and we'll just carry on bringing in the good stuff. If there is a Blade Master nearby, having a dust of appearance isn't going to help me that much. So I'm not going to get one for the moment. Simply because it's not really going to do anything. I can't kill the Blade Master. I can't stop him from wind walking away. Alright. Let's get another cigarette. Typically I would be like, ah, that, that's a bit overkill. But in this case, I feel like that's going to go up to 30 food pretty quickly. So we're just getting our acolytes so we can get the tech going as well. Probably want to slow down on the course. Maybe for that extra cigarette was a bit much, but never mind. We won't worry about that too much now. We'll just carry on with the agenda. The main thing is, is that the Dreadlord gets strong. Not that I have the perfect economy or, you know, any of that kind of stuff. Okay. Now's a good time to go for the expansion. This means I can go into more ghouls later on. I might just go mass ghouls, to be honest with you. I like going mass ghouls, so I wouldn't have a problem doing it instead of gargoyles. But gargoyles would suit the play style a little bit more. At least the Dreadlord's got to be mobile around the map. Almost took too many ghouls off there, so I'm actually a little bit shy on the wood that's required to get the tech going. I don't really want blue to disconnect because whenever I'm doing these strategies, I want to concentrate hard on the strategy. I don't want to be distracted. And boom, there goes your distraction. <sighs> that sucks. Okay, well, let's see what we can do. What has he got? An AFK Dread Death Knight with three fiends, not doing anything. Alright, let's use them then, I guess, to get my hero experience, that's what I'll do, I'll just use him to get experience, I'll keep his hero away if we're going to do the strategy we're going to do the strategy, screw this guy that's his fault for not having a strong enough internet connection or anything like that sounds mean but really, you know in this day and age, maybe you can't get a strong enough internet connection but hang on a second see I'm getting distracted already Let me just, I, I won't be able to talk much to be honest now I've got to do this I hunger I wish only to serve. What is it now? What is it now? I shall demand additional money. That was my plan. You thought of that? Our brethren's town is under attack. What is it now? Proceed. What? Summoning is what is it now? Research. Summoning my is like Ponez. What? what? Mortal. Our brethren's what town is, is under attack. That was my plan. You made your choice. What? Mortal. Agreed. That's better. Your soul is mine. Can't stop that fiend from dying, but at least it distracts the fiends just a little bit longer. Looks like things are going bad at the top as well, so this might just be a short game anyway. Who said strategies were easy? Strategies very rarely happen just in one go. Greetings. 
Research complete. I must hunt your choice. Must hunt soon. Greetings. I must hunt soon. Right, he's going to have another buddy now, so it's going to be a two versus one here. Not worth it. Just run. I can't TP with those fiends because they're not even mine. I would use Carrion Swarm, but I don't think it's going to kill anything here. Now these I can maybe kill. Okay, I'm getting hit by the other players as well now. Yeah, this looks like a bit of a dudder game. This is... I can't concentrate on what I want to do now, which sucks. Thanks, Blue. Yeah, the, uh, this is the problem now. I'm not doing anything close to doing what the strategy is asking me to do, apart from that little harass there on the east hand side. I've got purple chasing me here. I've got freaking teal on my base. Get out of it. Just blind, dumb undeads just right clicking like noobs. Let's just run all the way around in a big circle then, shall we? As you just right-click my hero. You're worse than frickin' Blade Masters, to be honest. Come back to my base. If you want to do this. Good luck having an economy now. I hope, you know, whoever else is in the game, like, what's his face? Yellow is doing something out of massing towers in his own base, like he's using Blade Master or doing something. It's just creeping, like, with raiders. It's just. Go. Painful. Very painful. If that's if there's that much action at my base, there should be that much action elsewhere. What's the what's the phrase for it? Every reaction should have a exact opposite reaction or something like that. That's how it should work in this game. If people aren't doing that, then someone's dropping the ball. I might not be able to actually concentrate on the strategy of this game. Obviously. We'll just have to finish this game off and then go into another game maybe where I can actually focus and have some fun doing what it is. But 4 versus 4 RT, you're very, very lucky if you can have one game that goes longer than 10 minutes and doesn't have a team killer or someone that leaves the game at the start. It's very unlikely that will ever happen. It's super rare. It shouldn't be rare, but it bloody well is. You got all those towers, Yellow. Make use of them. Looks like we're base trading. Our 
I don't even have a TP, so I've got to go buy one. But he still has his main base. They're killing everything else except for the main base, so he's actually okay. Right, this guy's seen that, so we've got to whack a whole bunch of towers down. Conveniently seen that. <coughs> It's all right. We'll just pull these acolytes elsewhere. Then we know he's trying to expand here as well now. So that's that over with. Yeah, the fight's going okay over there. Dreadlord's still only level 3. Do you see what I mean? I get so distracted. It's not good enough. It's not good enough at all. Alright, Teal. You want your piece of meat? You'll get your piece of meat. I'm coming for you. I'm tired of your shit. Oh, it's orange as well. Let's go then. Let's go. You want to fuck me over? Let's do this. You want to do the old fuckaroo? Let's do the old fuckaroo. Enjoy getting your fucking heroes back, you knobhead. When you haven't got a fucking cigarette. Nor an altar. I think that guy hacks, by the way, because he comes over here and then he comes straight down to this point over here. Like, I think there's a little bit of, um, you know, some people are subtle when they hack. Other people are just fucking blatant. That's what you call blatant. Very blatant. Poor Yellow has actually finally lost his base. They kept going at it. You might want to use some of that gold pink and then it wouldn't be such a tough game. Oh, that's a good point. He's not even paying attention to that. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Hello, fella. How you going? Boom, boom, boom. Alright, we can't get another expansion for a while. Teal's on the prowl. Little fucking lucker, honest to god. Such a disgusting, scummy lucker. That frostworm, honestly, just didn't even get fucking killed. Greetings. Summon is complete. 
one. Yes, summoning master. is complete. I will die. Summoning is complete. Now. Where shall my blood be summoning. spilled? Is summoning is complete. Is complete. Yes, master. What? Greetings. I must pass. Our brethren's town is under attack. Greetings. What? What? My what is it? That was my plan. I can't t keep TPing back because. Uh, all right, I guess we got this guy. Our town is under my Every time I have to come up there, I'm gonna have to go fucking back to help out. You don't need to buy a TP. You buy a fucking scroll star for TP. I can't wait to get this fucking game over with because you know what's going to happen. This is going to get killed over and 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 over again. I'm going to keep getting bullied by Orange, and I want to fucking do something about it, Orange and Teal. But they, they're like, oh, I got the time of the life because I'm getting so easily fucking distracted over here. There's nothing I can do to fucking stop them from doing this. I want to be down here, crushing their fucking skulls, but I can't because I have to keep pushing up to the top to help out the other fuckers that keep getting fucked. How much fucking wood do you need? There you go. Fucking have it all. Fucking build. I don't... This is what happens. I, this shouldn't happen. I shouldn't have to be in these fucking games. Just fucking stay in the fucking game and I wouldn't have to fucking do this. Fucking painful as fuck. Yep, my turn now. I've not even seen green in this game, but fuck it. Why not? There he is. What a fucking peaceful, stressful fucking piece of shit. This is just disgusting. I've got a TP back to that. Another thing I've got a TP. Someone else can fucking control it. Okay. Right, someone else control what? Blue. I'm out. I'm out. I'm just getting everything torn to fucking pieces and I can't do shit about it. Gang bangeranged. Such a fucking piece of stressful fucking game. Just piss off. Did not need to be this hard. It did not need to be this hard. I could crush teal and fucking orange and purple like that. Fucking so easy. But I can't because of the way this game has manipulated me to play. It lets them build up. It lets them get stronger. It lets them get these expansions. It lets them build. Look at that disgusting piece of shit. That should have never happened. That would never have happened. But you got a fucking way with it, didn't you? Disgusting piece of fucking shit. I'm going to fucking play a 1 versus 1 after this, to be honest. Because when this shit happens, I fuck 4 versus 4 RT. I need a 1 versus 1 to fucking get... To cleanse the palette. Because this is what happens when I do 4 versus 4 RT. I get dog shit allies and then I need to fucking do 1 versus 1 to prove that I... There's not all fucking cancer in the world. Fuck off. Fuck off you pieces of fucking shit. Stop being so goddamn fucking useless. Doesn't help that everyone's fucking undead. So we got maximum imbalance. Pink's gone straight back up, so I can't possibly come back down to engage. I've all of those gold mines I'm trying to set up, all of that future proofing, gone. Every single time. I know I can get away with those expansions if I can stay downstairs for fucking two seconds. But nope. Help, 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 help up the top, help up the top, help up the top, please. Fuck off. One versus one, there's no one to fucking scream for help. Only my fucking opponent, as he's getting his fucking face crushed. You can tell I'm stressed, because this is just bullshit. Look, look at this. Oh, look at that. I've got to take this expansion now. Look at him with a fucking massive army. I can guarantee you this guy wouldn't stand a fucking chance against me in 1 versus 1. But 4 versus 4 RT couldn't have a fucking easier time. 
what is it? That's what fucking pisses me off the most in this. It's just scumbag shitbags that don't fucking have any level of skill whatsoever. But in 4 versus 4 RT, they're gods. That's a lot of the reason why a lot of people play 4 versus 4 RT. You're lucky enough to have that fucking base that you do. Don't you fucking dare try to get another. Disgustingness. What is it now? Let's get a fucking TP and crush it. Who's got the TP? The pit lord? Ah, it's the death knight. Hit all those expansions. Because this is the thing. TP and back isn't such a bad case in this example because they're just taking all the expansions at the bottom what I wanted to do, but couldn't never fucking do. So tough shit. You don't get to do that. If I don't get to do it, you don't fucking get to do that. Yeah, that's what I fucking thought. Wait for Teal to turn up two seconds later at that expansion. What is it now? What is it Check the middle now. We don't need to go to one of their main bases. There he is. So if Pink can go in, which he is, there we go. Sleep the Death Knight. Ah, fuck! I was just out of range! Couldn't get to sleep. Come back and corner that guy. That would have been devastating if I got that sleep off. Absolutely devastating. Pink wants to go up here. Yeah, I can understand his frustration. I've already come back this far. We've got blue here. Who's got the TP? Death Knight's got the TP. Yes! That's what we're talking about. Fucking Dreadlord, you're a god. Look at that. So overpowered, if done right. Entire army dead because of fucking sleep. So powerful. So satisfactory. Your s teleport means nothing now. There's Teal. So we don't have to go for main bases here because it's undead bullshit. Alright, run away, run away. Meet please and we can engage Teal and Green. Otherwise I'll never get these expansions. Ever, 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 ever. If you come down now, we can meet and engage them. It's 100% guaranteed. 100% guaranteed to engage and meet and beat. But they take him forever to get down. Blue's on his way, so whoever's controlling Blue is doing it, but Pink wants to finish off a couple of buildings. Two ghouls versus that will do the job. Oh well. Bye bye expansion. Unless this guy's on his own for some reason. Why are you on your own? I must hunt soon. I must hunt soon. 
Ah, Teal's over here. Go. So Death Knight's going to have the TP, but where's the Death Knight? Ah, oh, he's already TPing. Nice. Coming back down. Pink's taking all those expansions up the top, which is a good idea. This has ended up being an epic game. I don't think we need to go any further, to be honest. I don't think I want to play another game after this. <laughs> I think you've got your entertainment from this right here. I just want to f get satisfaction from finally crushing Pill. So they keep clearing out the expansions. But if you, if I expand over here and pink expands up the top there, they can't be everywhere at once. And I've got ghouls. I see. I know. I think skip that base, to be honest. It's not worth it. So not worth it. I mean, we might still be strong enough to take it, but this is fighting over a billion towers. It's not the smartest idea. But it looks like we're doing it nonetheless. Keep that Death Knight back. Just stick to the top. Oh, this is so bad. Back now. No need to stay here. I mean, we're strong enough to do it, so I don't mind that much. Only because we're strong enough, but I don't want to give them a win. If we do this, there's a chance they can get the win. Yeah, we're doing that, are we? Looks like Undead Imbalance overpowered Undead Imbalance. I know we have the Frostworms to freeze everything, but that's if they do the job of freezing it. So I think they did do the good job. So, good job, guys. I think they actually were paying attention. Sometimes you see that, and you know what's going to happen is they don't touch those towers, even though they've got Frost Breath, and they take so much damage from it. I mean, that's a lot of towers. Oh, yeah, yeah, look, you got my expansion. What are you going to do about it, huh? I'll cancel this, actually, and get another expansion, but I'll start it over here. And you've got to travel all the way over on that one. I might actually get Star for Teleportation. TP back over here. See if I can take all of that on. Okay. Teal's just magically turned up just as I come over here. No gold. Very well. So I can't buy anything That's fancy for my Dreadlord. What? What is it now? You thought of that? What? Very well. Our power is under I got my gargoyles taking on his expansion because if you're going to do this then I'm not letting you have your expansion for free. You're going to have to sit there and defend it. Otherwise you can lose it. Yeah, attacking an undead base is fun, isn't it? Say goodbye to your expansion. <laughs> That's more satisfactory than getting the kill on those heroes. It's just that feeling of knowing that you've got him under control. After having the whole game being under control from the enemy because they could just do whatever they wanted at the bottom. I could stop them. 
But I couldn't because I had to help up the top, which was also in dire need. It was ridiculous. It's ridiculous. Oh, God. There you go. 32 minute 4 versus 4 RT. You don't need anything more than that, to be quite frank with you. That's nice job done, that is, right there. Regardless, if that happens, in my opinion, that's just like, that's strategy done. I don't care. <laughs> At that point. Thank you very much for watching. If you haven't thumbs up already, make sure to thumbs up. What are you doing? Those thumbs up helps a lot, as well as to share this with other people, so they can also enjoy the goodness of Undead Imbalance. Thanks very much, and I'll see you later.